Hello everyone, this is my tutorial on how to get Kick-It in your Multicraft control panel. Um, basically this video is directed at um, if you run the, your own Multicraft control panel with a VPS. So basically the requirements of this video is um, you need a VPS and root access. So anyway, um, in this first part of the video, I'm just going to quickly show you um, what the current options on my own control panel are. Um, as you see, right now I don't have really anything in there. Um, no ticket at all. Um, basically, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to create a new server. And we're going to name the server ticket or whatever you want for now um, basically uh, for this tutorial you basic uh, you need a basic understanding on how to use your control panel already so uh, I'm just gonna select on a selectable jar and your base directory you can name yourself or let multicraft decide for you um, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna name it ticket um, now this one is important, oops, this, look for jars in, uh, this needs to be e um, server base directory. Uh, you could have it in server jar directory, but for the sake of this tutorial and make it more simpler, you'll have it as an option in server base directory. Um, then you're going to create, click create. Basically, this will generate a file for your server. So basically, that's done. Um, so basically, what we're going to do now is switch over to our uh, VPS. So we're going to change to our multi-craft base directory, which should be that. Um, and then we're going to change into our server directory so whoops servers and we just named it ticket earlier for the base directory so right now you see that it's basically empty um, so now what we're gonna do is to download the whole package from their website directly into a VPS or you can do this um, via Firezilla if you're not using um, command line. Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go grab the link for the ticket server. So I'm just going to wait for the page to load. Scroll to the bottom. Copy the link. Address. Okay. And then go back into our con and type in widget that basically just gets the zip from the server and directly puts it into your server uh, I mean it gets it from the website puts it in your server so if we see now uh, the zip's going to be there basically what we're going to do is unzip that zip and now um, if you see up here it has MC9, 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 MC9. What all this means is this row is your user's column. This row is your group column. Um, Multicraft automatically generates users and groups if you have that set on. So basically right now I'm working in root and I download all these files. So all these files are owned by root and basically we want them to be owned by the user that the control panel created so they can access it. So, first off, I'm going to remove the files that we don't need, which is launcher.bat, launcher.sh, and you, you can keep the zip if you want. I'm just going to remove it. Um, so, yeah, all the files that are left are basically what we need to use. So, first off, we're going to go shown with the flags R, and we're going to I in the user and the group that you want it to be. Then you're going to type in whatever you want to change. 
so I'm going to change the folders first. Basically what the slash r um, flag does is it um, changes all the subdirectories and files into the same owner of whatever you're doing right now. So basically MC9. Um, now we're going to change the owner of Minecraft and the server.properties file um, and the ticket.jar now everything should be mc9 now which it is now we're going to change the file permissions for these three files minecraft server jar server properties and ticket.jar reason being right now is if you see this is red which means currently your control panel has no control over it Therefore, what we're going to do now is mod 770, which basically uh, means it allows the server and people with access to read, write, and execute the files. Now, as you see, it's turned green. Basically, everything is done here, and we should go back to our... Uh, multicraft panel and in the jar file now we type whatever we have here remember you typing the ticket.jar not the minecraft server the ticket.jar the minecraft server one is used as a mainframe for ticket.jar uh, so you have to leave it inside the folder but yeah so we're gonna type in ticket.jar then we're gonna save it and then we're going to start it up and it should basically work and as you see um, it's starting to load the files it's going to come up with a few errors because it's the first um, time you're running the server so it needs to download all the files and all that so basically it's just loading everything up now mm. it's just going to give it a while to load and then once it's finished you should get a message saying done which we should see soon uh, so uh, okay guys I'm back so I'm um, basically uh, right now the server just finished loading so um, just to make sure everything's done um, we're just gonna check to see if the new files generated and they basically did uh, yeah so basically we, while the file the server was loading you should have noticed that there were a few warnings uh, here and there a few errors it's basically just the first startup so if we um, stop the server now and start it back up again uh, so basically the server's gonna stop okay now we're just gonna start it up and basically this time round there should be less warnings but there's still gonna be warnings and so we're just gonna let the server start up and it should be faster this time round um, this is going to give it a moment. Mm. So basically, once this is done loading, um, you can have people join your server perfectly fine. Um, you just got to remember that you are logging on with the ticket client, and yada yada yada. Uh, yeah, so basically, this tutorial works for any mod pack like ticket which isn't actually officially supported by multicraft yet uh, like hexic uh, feed the beast um, I'll put a link in the description for the page anyway the startup is done it is now online and you can now join so yeah um, this is basically the whole tutorial so Thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment, subscribe, if you have any questions, please post below and I'll help out as soon as I can. Um, thanks very much for watching.